Yule is the letter Y choice for me for the YouTube Pagan Challenge. So like for the other other ones I did, I, I know I did in bulk, Mabel and Salon. I'm gonna do similar setup to this where I just say like a few random associations with it. I won't go totally in depth, but I'm pretty sure I have enough information that I can gather to do a more in depth video. So you got longest night and longest night of the year and then eventually the nights do get shorter after this. So some traditions and symbols, bells, ancient pagans would ring bells to drive away like demonic, any like demons that would surface during the night. Candles burned to help the winters chill and encourage the sun to shine. Peppermint um, leaves and tea. Coolness of the peppermint symbolizes like the chill winter and the heat symbolizes the sun. Evergreens, because the green, because they would like stay green, it was thought they would have like the power to fight off death and would defeat winter demons roaming the earth and, or, and like encourage, urge the sun to come. So holly symbolizing rebirth. Then you got like a few taboos, extinguishing fire and travel. Decor, you log, oak or pine, mistletoe, wreaths, apples, oranges, yule tree, holly, lights, that kind of thing. Gemstones, you got ca cat's eye, ruby, bloodstone, garnet, emerald, and diamonds. Spell work, if you if you want to do some spell work. Harmonious, um, harmonious future, peace, tolerance, respect, love, and unity are a few things that you could do. Other names, winter solstice, midwinter, sun return, Finn's day, yuletide, festival of soul. Modern, modern nicht. and Yule means wheel, Scan, Scandinavian divination, solstice means the sun stands still. So a little intro to Yule, happy readings.